Hi. <laughs> um, I'm here to ramble about these things for however many minutes. And, uh, yeah, just talk about some of my favorite ones. So, uh, yeah, um, in total, I have over 300 tapes. That's, I don't think that's including those. Please ignore Hanging Shadow. Uh, so how did this all begin? Well, <laughs> started with two specific tapes. Started with My Charlie Brown Y, which I used to be a huge, huge Peanuts fan. I used to be a huge, huge Peanuts fan when I was younger, and um, so I, I got that tape because it was a it was a Peanuts special I'd never seen. Yeah, fun fact that special is about cancer. So then I also had the Star Wars. Um, this is I'm pretty sure the original release of Star Wars. I found this in a thrift shop and I got it when I was like 14 because I was like, oh, this will be interesting to have. You know, not really a big Star Wars guy, but I was looking at that tape and. Why Charlie Brown? Why? Please ignore my mess. I am in the middle of rearranging my room. Uh, and I was like talking to a friend. I'm like, hey, you know what? I have these two rare tapes. Maybe I should collect tapes. And then from there, it went pretty much these Thomases. That was pretty much what my collection kind of looked like. And now if I back up here. Yeah. Humble beginnings. So, so what are some of the highlights? So, I have a subgenre of these things that I call, I don't know that was on VHS, for the tapes that make you go, I don't know that was on VHS. Like, for example, did you know A Car's Life was on VHS? Yeah, I uh, bought this off eBay, and uh, fun fact, um, UPS uh, destroyed it. Like, VHS tapes shouldn't have been like that. So, I can never watch A Car's Life on VHS, and quite frankly, that makes me sad. Oh, these are custom tapes I've done, by the way. <laughs> um, so, I'll talk about those in a second. So, A Tale of Un, uh, a Series of this, of this Movie. That's one of the, I didn't know that was on VHS. Uh, Cat in the Hat, Christmas with the Cranks, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Elf, um, Goldmember, iRobot, Incredibles, maybe Kangaroo, Kangaroo Jack, Looney Tunes is back in action, um, uh, Tomb Raider, Spider-Man, maybe, Spongebob movie, uh, Napoleon Dynamite, um, where is it, there's another one, these are in sort of alphabetical, wait, hold on, yep, there it is, Polar Express, so, um, so why do I collect VHS tapes? Well, pretty much I like physical media. Like, I really, really love physical media. I love just being able to own my media, being able to just be like, I can just like touch it. I can go on my shelf and like look at these. Like, this is much better than looking at a streaming service screen. Like, I don't want to be like, well, back in my day, we had big, big t CRT TVs and entertainment centers. Like, because like, I, I did this literally trying to like recreate what I had when I was like 10, but. <laughs> But, um, no, I just, objectively, I like walking up to these walls and just being like, or this wall, I mean, being like, oh, I want to watch Clifford's really big movie, you know? And I also love how all of these have a story. Like, let me show you this real quick. Sailor Moon. I'm not a big fan of Sailor Moon. I probably should be, but I just, I, I don't want to watch anime. So, this, inside... Is this I don't want to fold this with one hand but you can kind of see it in there this actually lyrics of the theme song that somebody this is gonna be really hard to do with one hand I'm just talk and do this so someone the person that previously owned on this tape I'm not sure who it was I got it at a thrift shop printed out the lyrics of the theme song so they could sing along to it I'm assuming and I'm just like wow that's a really like personal touch and like all these like every one of these have a have a story like why did they end up at a thrift store why were they all bought you know and i love them all i really do i don't watch them all because they're not all movies i like particularly am fa fond of like uh this bug's money for example i own this because just i feel like i shouldn't own it 
like this is this is very just you can tell by the light it's a very weird texture this looks like it's actually like like a marker done on it's a very weird like face it's just very very weird in full color in fact and i don't i feel like i should not own this so weird Turn some of my most rare tapes. Um, a Car's Life I've already talked about. I have Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. That was a that was a really cool one to find. Um, ah, the SpongeBob movie, cardboard specific specifically. That is, I prefer the cardboard tapes because I'm just the it's just aesthetic, I guess. Um, up here was my recording tapes. That one right there is a tape that I keep in a special box. That is actually the premiere of Spongebob. I bought it on eBay one night for like 30 or 50 bucks. Somewhere like that. It was, I overpaid for it probably, <laughs> whatever it was. Um, so very recently I ran out of space for these shelves. That's hence why this is over here now. This was right here, but I didn't have room to put another shelf. And quite frankly, that a the shelves if I be another shelf is gonna be blocking like that area right there but I have a few like non case ones that I can get put back there I mean and so I always said I have very specific tapes I wanted to get very specific movies and the last one I needed was the Truman Show and in a very poetic fate I guess poetic way I found the Truman Show at a thrift store and it was the last one I put on the shelves that really filled it out. That made it completely full. Like I could not, add, could not add any more. It was the Truman Show. So I thought that was a really, <laughs> really interesting moment. Oh, you know what I should show you? Yeah, check these out. This is my Magic Railroad stuff. Um, so I love this movie. I will eventually make a video about this movie. But these are all my versions of Magic Railroad and the my collection. So I have three American tapes, a Canadian sealed, a Japanese tape. This is the full screen DVD that originally released. This is the widescreen. This is the Emil and Grouchland combo pack. This is the Canadian DVD and then the Blu-ray. <laughs> That's a trailer reel. I have a printout of the script. I have a cup that Mr. Conductor uses. A lady hat. Um, a shirt. Some toys. Um... This is from when I saw the movie in theaters for the re-release. Yeah. Very, very neat. Um, what else can I talk about here? Oh, yeah, custom tapes. So these are tapes that I made myself. I'm going to do this one at a time so these don't all come out. We Bear Bears, the movie. I really love this movie. I'm going to do the effort of putting the old Cartoon Network logo on that. I really like how I did that on the back. Uh, the backs themselves, I never really do a good job on. I'll show you where the wild things are. I never do a great job on the backs. It's kind of intentional. I never really... Because you're going to see like the front and then the spine usually. So I just put a lot of effort into the spine. This one's my re most recent one. I also have over at the desk area. Uh, that's not... I didn't make that. Uh, Hilda and the Mountain King. I like having that over here. So, what's really cool about these, actually, um, is that I know how to record tapes. Like, I know how to, like, record it from a computer to VHS. So, let me see. I didn't know I was going to be talking about this. I should have prepared it. Oh, yep, there it is. And I crop it, and... See, I'm, I'm messing with the tracking so I can show you, like, this is legitimately on VHS. Very, very cool. I love these. And I love doing them. You can actually get, like, Toy Story 3 and 4 in actual printed out boxes. I still haven't done that, y'all. I have still not done that. I really need to. Because this is another whole video I want to do. Movie trilogies that the third one is not on tape. Looking at you, Man Black. Looking at you, Stuart Little 3. Looking at you. Uh, um, Spy, Spy Kids. Or not Spy Kids, uh, Space Jam. 
and other videos. I don't know, all the Pokemon. Probably. So, what do I do if I don't have a box for the tape? Well, let me show you. These. These are, let me show you, without knocking all these down, old library cases that I took and made my own little rental thing. So this is my old little, like, family video. Okay, family video was my old uh, rental store idea that I had, just for, you know, jokes. And that address, if you look it up, that is actually um, uh, the world's largest fork. And it's an address I will never forget. So these, I just have a little template that I go in and just change it up. It's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to be like a cheap, like it just some un underpaid employee does it in the back in a, you know, in the in the lower, in the lower things. There we go. So, oh, this is one of my very first tapes. I forget what this show was called, but I found this at a Goodwill outlet. Oh, speaking of that, um, I call it I call them the Forgotten Three. I don't have pictures of them, otherwise it'd be up on the screen like right now, but I they don't. So, I was at a Goodwill once, about a couple of weeks before I started VHS collecting, and there was three Studio Ghibli movies on VHS in Japanese, and I know I know one of them for sure was My Neighbor Totoro. And I looked at that and I'm like, hmm, neat. Did not get it. It was a dollar, and now those tapes are like. I know Taylor is like a thirty bucks, thirty dollar tape now, so it's like okay, uh, that's that really sucks. Um, this is where I get my collections. I have like a bunch of the Pokemon tapes, some Twilight Zones, some Rugrats. This is where I keep my Thomases. I believe I have seventeen of them. I don't know, you can count. This is my these are my blank tapes. Uh, I've been trying to archive some of these. Uh, the Disney in-store loop tape, that is actually an archive thing. I'm trying to keep it safe. It is a in-store loop tape, which is, what's that? In stores, like, I think that one was for Target. Um, they would put in a tape into a TV, like on a VCR, in a TV, and it would just play constantly. It would have, like, ads for, like, movies, and that one's from Holiday of 1992, I believe. I think you can find the video online, I'm not too sure. It's sealed and everything, so I've never watched it. That version, at least. Uh, the things that say commercials, those are my partner Oliver and our friend Gendy. We would make, we still do, I don't think we've done one for 2022 yet. We actually probably should get on that. We'll make like a compilation of just our favorite commercials from like the 2000s. And then I'll just put them on VHS every year. We've done it for about two years. No, no, three years now. No? Four. Wait. In 2019, 2020, 21. So this will be our fourth one. So you can do that math. I'm not very good at math. I dropped out of college twice. McGee and me. I love McGee and me. McGee and me, the big lie, is like honest to God. Don't don't look up anything about it. Just watch it. I love it. It's <laughs> I, I did a TikTok. Uh, at, hey, it's Kit underscore probably. I don't I don't know. I don't use TikTok anymore. But you can watch my reaction on there if you find that. It was a very, very, very good tape. I have not watched these ones yet, but every time I get, every time I find them, I always grab one. I want to do a reaction series where I watch the other ones because I don't say I love them. Uh, oh, code word caper, code word caper. So this fun fact, I actually learned how to uh, what vowels are from this tape when I was like nine or ten. Yep, I am. I I live a sad life. This I got at a garage sale, but why? It's a blockbuster video. That's pretty cool. As you can see, I kind of try to organize these by the shape. So like all the clamshells, cardboards, these weird rounded ones, and then my very cases. Oh, and then the Hollywood video ones. Oh, these tapes are not real. Well, they are real, but they're screwed in. That way, these in it wouldn't fall off. Chitty Chitty, ching, chitty, chitty Bang Bang was a tape I had at one point that I don't no longer have. I just did duplicates. Uh, oh, this one is cool because... So, let me remind you what a normal tape looks like. So, we'll take Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It 
has those little windows, right? This one, take off the cover, and there's no windows. It's really, really, it's, a, it's just a freak of a tape right there. I love it. I love it. Uh, what, I, what else can I talk about? I got the uh, Behind the Shells of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's actually a making of of the movie. That's really cool. I've not opened that. I've not found it online. I probably should open that and digitalize it, put it online because lost media or whatever, but like, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm lazy. Um, I got this from my friend Sebastian. It's a Pokemon tape from Toys R Us. This is the one that has like Ash's ant in it. Uh, they gave me that and I really, really, really love it. It's one of my favorites for sure. Um... Mr. Deeds, I love Mr. Deeds. Sorry if things are out of focus. I'm like, I'm, I, I, I'm not used to filming. <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll um, not have everything in frame. Um, the Garfield movie, which is <laughs> no Chris Brown. That was a video that I never posted anywhere where I did a test to see how I could record videos. Um, the joke was that I had to do community service. My community service was talking about VHS tapes, which was going to be the whole gimmick of my channel at that point. And <laughs> my review of this was there's no Chris Pratt. So I just slapped that on there and I have not taken that off because I just find it hilarious. Um, yeah, I think that is actually about it. Let me show you this one. Let me get this one down real quick. They're sticking together. Trust me, if one falls, they all fall when they're so packed, tightly packed. So, this is a famous tape right here, The Little Mermaid. You know, it's famous because, as you can see, Flounder is really, really weirdly drawn here. Also, I think that's a penis.